Hey, I got kicked out of my dorm uh, the other day, so I am at a nearby park. I'm leaving New York soon, so I'll probably have more time to make these videos when I um, am more settled down. But I just came from... The other day, I watched the Harry Potter and the Cursed Child on Broadway. And as someone who is never really a big fan of Broadway, or I just don't, I haven't seen a lot of Broadway, it was definitely something I kind of uh, went into with some trepidation, especially because um, when the Harry Potter and the Cursed Child script came out a couple of years ago, it... it received a lot of kind of negative attention, or at least in the more critical spheres of the world, um, it was not as lovingly re received as people uh, expected, probably as a co because of a combination of just high expectations for Harry Potter and maybe because people didn't understand the script format um, as much. And it's also, it wasn't written by JK uh, Rowling, so that was a big issue for some, and um, many people felt that, that it felt like um, fan fiction and it wasn't true to the characters or something. Um, but you know, for me, when I read it, I thought if JK Rowling thought it was great, um, then I, um, who am I to kind of question the motivations and all this character stuff. I grew up as a big fan of Harry Potter. It was one of the very few things, it was one of the very few things that me and my friends consistently um, bonded over growing up. The book series in particular. The films were also great, but um, the book series is the one that kind of um, cemented our, um, con or at least it, it made up a lot of our conversations growing up. I remember when I was 11, I was I w had to go. I woke up very early to go to this um, local bookstore uh, in Manila, where I um, was the first uh, one to get there in the store uh, because I wanted to get a copy of Harry Potter and the Half Blood Prince and. Uh, you know, I, I got it and I read it throughout the whole weekend and I finished it in time for, um, for it to discuss it with my friends in school. And it was one of those, um, Harry Potter is one of those series that um, were, was kind of important in my development and it really imbued my life with a sense of uh, magic and wonder um, in ways that uh, was difficult to kind of access through other media. I think uh, this kind of childhood... Uh, dream of sorts or imagination of becoming a wizard is kind of is kind of um it's kind of silly but also it, it i'm sure i had lots of great dreams because of it uh in terms of the quality of the you know of, of the critical um assessment of the books you know i don't know i, I read it when i was a kid I, but i know i loved it uh, i love them my films are, were enjoyable for me growing up um so i kind of I'm not someone who watches a lot of Broadway, so I went into this with some trepidation and was pleasantly surprised, impressed, overwhelmed um, by just how well the, the play was able to recreate the magic of um, reading those books growing up. I didn't expect that, especially since I knew what the story was about and I knew it wasn't very... Um, it wasn't like the best of stories in terms of just pure storytelling but uh and i since i since i knew the, what the story was about i didn't really expect to get that much um else out of it i just thought it was gonna be a fun night uh or two nights actually and then when i when i went to see it i was just amazed by the level of sophistication in its stagecraft um special effects it's able to its ability to like recreate um just the magic just the spells and um you know, they're, they're, like, there's this kind of thing where they, where um, whenever they turn back time with the time turner, there's this effect that um, ripples around the um, clocks around the room and um, that always perplexed me every single day. They did it so many times, it, probably a dozen times, and every time that they, they did it, it kind of perplexed me and amazed me. And I was always just trying to figure out how they were able to do some of these effects. Um, you know, the effects of them jumping around and um, fighting and doing all these, um, these wizardry fights and spells. And it's just... It was, it was, it's so great um, and fun and um, I had so much fun I, because it was able to again recapture that magic I had when I was growing up in a way that I don't think um, I ever expected to have that you know I was at, at some point you know it I was beyond sitting in suspension of disbelief and just pure believing um, that there was magic on the stage um, it sounds silly but you know when you allow yourself these experiences, um, it's quite rewarding and um, and fulfilling to, to to kind of experience. Uh, so yeah, it's a great play. I had lots of fun. They they it's also a lot more sophisticated than I thought it would be. They play a lot with 
temporalities, um, employing the, um, several um, non-linear uh, tricks that it, I feel like if you're not paying very close attention, you may be able to, um, you may not um, understand, you might not kind of get fully or it may take a second to really just think about wh when, what is happening, when is it happening, uh, is it a flashback, it is, a, is it a um, dream sequence, is it a nightmare, is it a prophecy, you know, these kinds of things. Um, but if you pay close attention, you know, play, but it, the, you'll, the audience will be rewarded. I actually don't think this play is very good for, um, I, I don't think that it's a, I, I think it's a great play. And you know, I see these kids after the, in the intermissions and these kids are in just, um, these kids are kind of, I've, I've, I see these kids nearly in tears just talking about how much they loved it and how much they enjoyed the, the play and how much it was so magical. You know, I saw a lot of that from the younger, um, audience members, but I highly doubt that they were able to actually follow with the play. It is kind of, it's very, very dense actually in, in story and plot. Um, I, if ever you kind of have a chance to watch it, I highly actually recommend reading the script first. It's very dense, um, and if, you don't, if you're not very familiar with the wizardry of vernacular uh, locations, um, items, and just terms like, you know, the time turner. If you don't understand what a time turner is, um, it's kind of explained if you pay close attention, but it's um, it's better to be familiar with these things. And when you come into play, they give you like a, the the playbook has some explanations for some of the terms. But I recommend just reading the play first. Actually, might be better. Um, what else? They play with space in a very interesting way, where the, it's everything is. What's what fascinating about the the play is that it's it's five hours long, two uh, two two and a half hour. Um, nights or sets of whatever is showing and it snaps like every single scene and there is no breaks in between like it, it, every scene um, seamlessly kind of flows into the next and into the next and into the next um, in a way that is kind of overwhelming I think for some for it can be um, but it's it's fascinating how they're able to play with the space of the stage you know and um, it's not a two-dimensional thing as you might you know, obviously, you you're, you know when you watch a film, it's two dimensional, and to some degree, um, in plays, it's it's you know they have multiple things happening on different um, layers of the sets and all of that, and there are it's just a lot of depth in in the in the kind of um, staging of of every uh, scene where. Uh, just close attention to everything. I'm sure I, I, if I were to see it again, I'd learn. I'd see so many more things to love, and the fantastic performances by the main cast. The person who plays Albus Potter is great, as well as um, Scorpius Malfoy, um, who becomes the heart of the whole show. Um, I think his name is um, what's his name? Uh, I forgot. I forgot their names, but they're great. They're great actors, uh, and yeah, I highly recommend watching this. Uh, it is. It is kind of one of the highlights of my. Um, year so far um, and if you're ever in New York I highly recommend just checking it out it's, it's fantastic I have nothing else to say but good things about this show uh, it's very dense probably read the play first uh, and when you get there just stop thinking and just have fun enjoy the spectacle of it all and the magic and just let yourself be amazed like I was growing up reading those books so yeah I highly recommend it